Welcome back to another video. Woo! As you can tell by the title, today we're going to go through all the new Halloween decorations I've got. I've got my suitcase in my Monica cupboard where I'm going to be uploading, uploading, unloading all the previous Halloween decorations over the years. It's time. It is the 8th of October. I'm running behind. I'm slacking. I wanted to film this in the evening so it's just like more... You can appreciate it a lot more because it's all like dark and cozy. I'm going to go around and show you what I already have. Like my flat is basically my personality. So I have horror things around my flat all year round. Guys, look at this. If you have a room in your house or flat situated near where the sunlight comes in, you need to get disco balls because this is just absolutely magical. So this is from... Um, so this is like a light up pumpkin that I got from HomeSense. Obviously, you may have seen that me and Zoe did a HomeSense um, haul like a couple a, a while ago in August, I think. Classic us. So there's I've had that in storage waiting for this day. I have these little bat lights um, that I got from Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's this year, oh my god, guys, smashing it. These are from Amazon, these light up. So when everything gets dark, I put on the lights properly. And in here, over on Instagram, I was like, guys, what do I put in this? And you were like, oh, I'll put like candy in there. So I've eaten most of it. Over here to the bar cart. Just I want to appreciate my bar cart. It is so chaotic. I love this lip phone. Hello. Um, this bunting is so cute. I saw this on Amazon. I was like, do you know what? I have to get this. And uh, yeah, I love it. There's a little hand over here. <laughs> over here, I got this from the range, I think. This is just like a pine cone candle. And over here, this wreath that I got from the range as well. And these little Halloween pumpkin. These are from Sainsbury's. Honestly, guys, Sainsbury's this year smashed it out of the park. Wait until you see these glasses. And you know, guys, I'm going to be using these all year round. And the ghost one as well. So yeah, Sainsbury's, not an ad. <laughs> but even though I do work with Sainsbury's, um, I saw them and I was like, oh my god, I have to get them. So, how have you guys been? Oh, I've got a bat up here as well with the disco balls. Um, this is what I, I remember, I don't know if you remember me saying, but I said I really wanted to go quite vintage and old school. So this is just paper. I've got loads of paper decorations that I'm going to put out. I'll put it on the screen here so you can check it out. And then over here, I'm just going to turn this candle out because I think this has been on for so long. It is so hot as well. It doesn't feel like October at all. So this scream mask over here is actually from when I went to New York back in January. Um, February? January? January. Uh, to the Scream 6 premiere in New York. And the PR team let me have this. And yeah, I was. this is just the best thing in the entire world. Over here, I have no idea if this is going to be all year round. Probably not because, I don't know, I think it might be a bit too much. Um, but this is a big old skeleton. This is from Asda. And this t-shirt as well. You know, The Witch is one of my favourite movies of all time. Uh, this is from Etsy. Um, this used to be in my aunt's bathroom. So yeah, I have pieces of my aunt in every corner of my room, um, of my flat, which just makes me super, super happy that, um, yeah, just a part of her is just everywhere in the flat. So this used to be in her main bathroom. And then over here, I just love this area, guys. This area is just absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to show you what it's like when it's nighttime. Okay, so we go down the hallway. And then into my bedroom, we have a little pumpkin um, bath mat that I got from Asda. It's nothing too um, much in here, but this is the bedspread that I'm absolutely obsessed with. This is from Asda. I have a double bed, but I got a king duvet and a king like sheet. And I just love this. And this is Celia, as you know, if you've watched the, um, um, the Amsterdam video. <laughs> she comes everywhere with me. And over here, which I haven't properly gone into detail in, um, all my little horror sticker posters up there. I'm really embracing like my passions and it's just It's just something I really want to touch upon again. Is just how you guys just Just take me for who I am and it's not that you allow me to be who I am because 
that's that's not what I'm trying to say. It's just like I just really appreciate how you're just so open about how I am and all my quirks and all my passions and that you're interested in me sharing it with you and yeah that just makes my absolute day and I feel like for so long especially because I felt like when I was at school and uni I really did like hide certain aspects about my personality that I thought may may made me um that may have made me stand out a bit but now I just super embrace all my little quirks and loves and passions and you know how much I love the 90s um so up the top this is a poster that I got off Etsy. I just love that because I'm a 90s baby and then stay weird because you've always got to stay weird. Um, this is f um, a clock from my auntie's kitchen that I took. Clapperboard because I love the films. I just want to like kind of like decorate this whole space and these are from Amazon as well like all the classic horror films. Um, don't know why I put that up there. Like this is probably the only clown that doesn't really scare me because I love the original It so much. And then this is from when I put on a Scream um, movie night for me and my two friends. I went all out. And then, and then here is my little DVD VHS combi with all like my videos. And yeah, there's a little Winnie got a PlayStation. And this is really cute. Uh, like I'm currently watching like the birds on VHS. And yeah, this is for my aunts as well. You don't need to see in there. What have I got in here? Uh, more videos. I just feel like this. My my flat is just me my personality and i just feel like it really shines and if you walk into my flat you're just gonna know what sort of person i am <laughs> um horror obsessed really weird but um i don't care i mean i embrace myself i really embrace like my loves and i'm not shy and i don't like hide away from like what i'm passionate about and then moving on into my Movie room. So this is all the Halloween stuff that me and Zoe got from TK Maxx, um, from HomeSense, which I have left behind the sofa. This ghoul um, blanket is from Asda. This candle over here was from HomeSense. And this is just stunning. I think this is going to be an all year round candle that I'm just never going to light. Because it's just got even like little diamonds on it. I'm going to get like more posters up here I think of like my favourite movies. My blockbuster sign which was from Etsy. And this, this is what I got from Etsy. Um, this is like a proper 80s lamp. And it's like a touch, touch one. I just think it's absolutely stunning. I put, I gave, I gave my old lamp to my parents. Uh, my mum is very happy about that because she's been eyeing up that lamp for many, many years. <laughs> so it's nice to be able to give that to her. Put like a bowl in there and then like, like crisps or sweets or something. And yeah, nice little man. Okay, so let's start decorating. It's nice because I don't actually remember what we've got going on over here. Okay, so this is a massive sign that says Halloween. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put this. Maybe as you walk in the front door. Sorry you made me buy it. Oh my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Zoe made me get this, I think. I can't remember. She's an enabler, you know what she's like. And obviously I'm not buying too many new things because I don't want to like go too over the top. But like I obviously never throw anything away. I just keep for future years. Also, if you're new to the channel, hi, I love you. Thanks for watching. Um, I am a Libra. Like my, this is my birthday month as well. So I'm not just like the average Halloween horror fan. I am actually an October Halloween baby. My birthday is in a couple of weeks. And I think that may explain a little bit more <laughs> as to why I'm just, you know, very passionate about my passions. So here we've got loads of garlands. This says Happy Halloween, which I'm gonna put over the TV because, not over the TV, like the, the um, ah, uh, the TV cabinet. And this is another garland where I'm, I'm gonna put over here. So the main places that I'm gonna be decorating for Halloween is obviously like the kitchen area and in here, because that's where I spend the most time. Uh, I feel like my bedroom, I'm just gonna keep as it is. Okay, so we have a tablecloth that I'm super excited to put up. Like, this is amazing. I've got so many garlands, guys. Then this, like, snack bowl as well, which I've been waiting to use, that I will be using in here. I just love that. So this is all from HomeSense, like I said. <gasps> oh my God, I forgot about this. Like, this is stuff I'm gonna use all year round, guys like a glass with a pumpkin in it. Have my little morning smoothie. So yeah, we have a midnight magic. And then what have I got in here? Oh dear, like I haven't got enough mugs. Oh, okay. So you know how I am obsessed with Teddy, my little doggy. This is Squad Ghouls. And it's like, little doggy woggies, can you see that? Oh my God, because one in there looks like Ted. <laughs> Look at the little pumpkin. Look at little Teddy bush on it. This is where I'm gonna be putting the happy Halloween sign, I think, just over here. Thank you. 
Happy Halloween! <laughs> and then I'm going to put another bunting bit down there. Embrace your passions, guys. Don't let anyone else dampen your love for things. It does not have to make sense to anyone else. It doesn't have to make sense to anyone. As long as it brings you joy. Look at the little spider! Woo! You're not hurting anyone. Oh, everyone else can piss off. Respectfully, <laughs> of course. Big Brother starts tonight as well, but going to Zoe's. Probably as you're watching this, I'm at Zoe's. And we're gonna watch it together. Five years it's been off our screens. Oh, I love it! All year round, probably. All year round. Oh my god, look. I love it. I don't care. <laughs> we all know I'm a bit tax. Bit tacky. Okay, so I'm leaving these here as well as the other mugs that need to be washed up. This is also what my mum got me as well. I'm not sure where she got them from actually. Poundland? Um, but yeah, really smart. I really love them. So mum, thank you again. So now guys, I'm gonna be putting on the new um, table runner. <laughs> Guys, oh my god, I love it so much. These candles are a bit wobbly. It just makes the aesthetic. I love it. Oh my god, I am absolutely bonkers and I do not care. And this guys, as you walk in, I love that. <laughs> I think that's really cute. So I just put these lights on around the mirror. Oh my god, it looks so good guys, I'm obsessed. You're gonna hear that word a lot, sorry, <laughs> but Yay! Okay guys, so I decided to put them here on this mirror. I just feel like they look so cute here. And then over here, I put these. Oh, this looks amazing. The little tinsel balls, oh, the sparkle, the vajazzled hat. Oh my God, yeah. It just looks great. Really love this space. There's actually a book I've just bought as well, and I was like, this is where I'm gonna be reading it. So, this is the book. It's called Run on Red, and basically, um, I saw loads of reviews on this on Amazon, and when I tell you so many positive reviews, and you know I struggle to like concentrate and read, um, so that's why I've been like doing my comics, but apparently it's a really easy, fast-paced book, um, which I'm definitely gonna try and get through. So I haven't started it yet, but I will keep you updated. Okay, so let's get out from my, what's that? Oh, it's a leaf that's been following me around. Out of my Monica's cupboard. Mini fridge, all my jackets, all my shoes, and washer and dresser. Guys, I never keep anything from you. So I'm gonna show you. This is what we're working with in here. Oh God. I mean, there's a lot going on in here. This is the old Halloween stuff. Okay, so we're just gonna get that out. God, this is not gonna end well. Let's get this out. Right, oh my, ah, Jesus Christ. That's it, that's the Hoover gone. That is the Hoover gone. Oh no, what is all that? It's the coffee I spill. Oh, it's all in the socks. I'm just gonna hoover this up, guys. Bear with. Okay, so let's just see what's in here. Mm. Oh my god. Okay, so we've got Mr. Wiz. Hello. <laughs> oh my god, we got, we got a wreath. I'm so glad I didn't get a wreath because I knew I had one. Love that. That's gonna go on the back of the door. The witch and a little apple. <laughs> Got all the poles. Oh my god. Oh my god, yeah, we've got the felt pumpkin. We've got the boo. Like gravestones. And some more mummies. The bejazzled skull that we've had for years. I love him. Where are we gonna put him? How about next to the bread? Got like the talking skull. Which I feel like maybe I'll have this on the balcony for anyone who go out who goes out there and have people around. Just to give them a little scare. So coming onto the balcony, I don't want to go too crazy, but this little hun. And then obviously I have this all year round because that was my nickname 
by, you know like when you're younger you have uncles and aunts that aren't actually your uncles and aunts but you just call them that? Well I used to be called Spooky um, and yeah I saw this in Asda years ago and this is an all year round thing. <laughs> I feel like the boo is going to go here. Love the boo there. Just going to put that there. Ugh. Need to clean that. Just going to put this there. Maybe just put that in there. Please let me know if I'm not the only one who does this stuff and just... Absolutely loves it on a Sunday night. I think Mr. Man, I think that looks pretty, pretty great, not gonna lie. And I feel like with him, don't we usually put him up here? So yeah, okay, so we put him there. I remember that now. Love that. So I can still look for my people. Then I have these paper spiders. Sorry if you're scared of spiders, guys. They're only paper. Ooh, popped off, didn't they? Yeah. Just like subtle things, I think. I think I'm quite subtle this year. There we go. I think that looks good. I don't think it looks too crazy. <laughs> Who's texting me? <laughs> ow, 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 ow! My hand got caught in the mechanics. Yeah, I think that looks great. Lost me marbles, innit? Oh, look at him. Great. Look, how cute are these? Retro inspired cutouts. I love these. I'm gonna put them like over there. I think you wonder why I'm single Do you know what? I wouldn't change it for the bloody world. This is actually quite terrifying I just think that adds something really cute and like vintage to it. I think that looks amazing So guys, I really hope you've enjoyed spending some time in my very wacky, wonderful world. Hope this brought you some sort of joy, and if Halloween isn't your thing, I totally get that. Uh, but like I say, never be ashamed of what brings you happiness and joy. Always hold on to that, never let it go. I love you so much, and I shall see you very soon. Bye-bye.